Hey guys, we're wrapping up another week in Washington, D.C. And I'm actually headed to, to Oklahoma City because uh, my oldest boy, Jace, will be competing in the high school uh, wrestling state championships. Uh, the day before he competes, uh, it'll be the, the, the women's high school state wrestling championship. And, and I want to point out the differences there because you don't ha in high school, we're not having women compete in the men's division. We're not having men compete inside the women's division. There's a difference. There's a difference in the biological makeup. And for someone that's competed in, in coach wrestling for the better part of 38 years, um, and have and, 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 a, and a father of three that have three beautiful daughters that wrestle um, and I've been coaching since they've been four or five years old there's a difference there's a difference in, in, in their makeup but yet this week we passed the Equality Act the Equality Act is the Democrats uh, purpose of bowing down to woke and, and in the name of I don't know I guess equality they think that it's okay to allow men that are going to identify as a women to compete in women's sports. It's dangerous, especially in combative sports. It's very dangerous. But it actually goes farther than that because the Equality Act says it's going to withhold federal funding from colleges under Title IX that don't allow men to compete in women's sports. That's identifying themselves now as a, as, as a woman. It, it, it undermines what Title IX was supposed to be. Title IX was supposed to create an opportunity for women athletes to go to college and get their education paid for the same way it does with men. And now you're saying you're going to allow them to go compete? There's nothing about that that makes sense. And we have a bill out that is basically just saying that Title IX identifies the individual as their biological birth of how they were born they were born a man they were born a woman just because you decide to identify as a woman doesn't make any difference your body makeup is still a man and it it it, it takes away the opportunity for women athletes to achieve at their sport guys political correctness is guilt is literally killing this country we are better than this may god bless you and may god bless the united states of america